Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. And today I want to take a look at a new product. Um, this product is a, brought to us by EasyBulb. And this is a programmable light bulb that allows you to adjust the color that's coming from the bulb to set the right mood for any occasion. Let's check out what's involved and take a look, closer look at this product. The EasyBulb is a wireless LED bulb that gives you the ability to change the colors of the bulb to set a specific mood in your home. Now that is done via two technologies either using a remote control as you can see here illustrated on the box or using your smartphone as you can see up here. Uh, you have the ability to change it into some basic colors white, blue, green and red or you have the ability to really leverage the full spectrum of colors that are available in this color wheel to adjust the color. Now this device is going to give you the ability to control your light bulbs via your smartphone even if you're not in the house and if we take a look at some of the features here you'll be able to use either your iPhone or your Android um, device to do this and you'll be able to change the colors turn on the lights even if you're away from your home and adjust them uh, remotely because of the Wi-Fi connection that this bulb will have to your network it's secure and also has the ability as you can see here to sync uh, to music which is going to create a really interesting experience most of us are used to especially for the holidays dressing up the outside of our home and maybe using some LED lights on your tree or um, just on I would say on your garage but here what you have the ability to do is to really go beyond that so what we're going to do is we're going to install these lights configure them and see what kind of features we have and what kind of experience we can create. Let's go ahead and check out what's included in the packaging and then we'll do the installation and test. Our demo kit includes two bulbs, a remote control and a internet remote control hub. The hub came with a micro USB charging cable so that we can charge it or provide power to it. Now you can use a standard um, charger, um, so your cell phone charger to power that up and that's what I'm going to do, as well as some instructions to help you configure everything. So let's get everything connected and we'll see how everything works. Now as you can see by the bulb itself, it looks like a standard bulb, but the only exception is that this is the part here that uh, will actually light up, but it, it is the same size as a standard bulb. Uh, you have a lot of electronics here that are going to provide the wireless connectivity and it's going to control all the lighting, but this will fit in the standard socket, so you really don't have to worry about, you know, is this going to fit in your current fixture, because if you can fit a bulb, you should be able to fit the easy bulb. Now the bulbs can be controlled in one of two methods. You could either use a remote control or you can use the internet hub which is going to allow you to control the bulbs through your smartphone. We're going to first start our test using the remote control. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the bulb. Now looking at the remote control you'll notice that there are two um, options here. You have an on and an off. Within three seconds of turning on the bulb all you have to do is press this button to make sure that it syncs with the bulb. So that's what we're going to do next. So we'll power on the bulb, it's going to turn on, and we're going to press this, and you notice that it's blinking. Alright, so now it's controlled, and now you'll notice that I can change the color temperature rather easily just by swiping around. So now it's, it's paired with the remote control. So right now, I don't know if you can see that color, probably because of the reflection, but there's a lilac color coming out. It looks kind of white on the recording, uh, but there's no white. This is pure lilac, and you can see uh, the lilac color there. I'm going to change, move the color wheel to yellow, and you can see the reflection, yellow. I'm going to move it over to red, uh, and it's kind of like a violet. I'm going to make it deeper red. So now that's a deep red, and as I move around, I now have a blue and again you have this full color spectrum that you can work with. Now in addition to changing the color wheel here you have a couple of options. You do have the ability to change the the brightness of the bulb and you can notice how it's going down. I'm going to bring it up again all the way up. I'm going to bring it all the way down so you can control that. You have the ability if you have four independent bulbs grouped or, or uh, programmed to turn off an individual bulb. Uh, if you had multiple bulbs on you can turn them on and off by just tapping on the top. So a lot of flexibility so far with this remote. I've connected the bulb remote control uh, to a USB power supply so that's connected and you'll notice that it is on. You can see that little LED um, on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just walk through the app and configure the hub. So now that we have the hub connected and powered, I've installed the app onto the phone. It's a free app, Easy Bulb, available both on your Android phone as well as your iPhone. I'm going to choose Open. So the app is now launching. Now I'm going to go into the menu for the first time 
and I am I'm going to hit the plus and add my Wi-Fi receiver. Uh, the Wi-Fi receiver has been connected, so I'm going to hit tap to go to the next step. Here it's asking me uh, to now go to the my Wi-Fi settings, so I'm going to connect directly to the Wi-Fi in the Easy Bulb. So to do that, I'm just going to switch. Uh, I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to switch to Easy Bulb. I'm going to connect to it, and now that I've connected, I'm going to switch back, and now. Uh, I'm going to leave it as easy bulb and hit OK. And now it's going to ask me if I want to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Now there's a couple things that to be aware of. If you hit no, you will not be able to use the, the um, sleep timer or the timer settings. If you hit yes, you will be able to. Uh, once again, that's a choice that you'll need to make if you want to have those features function. I'm going to hit yes to connect to my Wi-Fi network. It just gives me more flexibility. And now what I'm going to do is choose the network that I'm connected to. So what you're going to do now is uh, put in your access code. Now once you've inputted the Wi-Fi access point, you've selected it, and you've inputted your Wi-Fi access code, it configures the hub for your hub. And now it's ready to go. So I'm just going to hit finish. And now it's time to add a bulb. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the plus sign right here. I'm going to choose a color bulb. I'm going to choose the first group, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the bulb on, and then I'm going to hit sync uh, within three seconds. Okay, so it's going to try it one more time. Let me turn that off. One more time. All right, let's see if it did anything. Yep. All right. I had to previously sync the bulb, so it didn't look like it did the flash that it was supposed to, but um, everything is working as you can see there. So now let's take a look at the app. Uh, if you rotate around, you can see that you can change the colors, and you can see the full color spectrum as it's going through. Um, you can also, let's see if we find one that shows up good on camera. Uh, we'll choose that deep blue. You can also adjust the brightness to make it either really bright or very light. So right there is very low and that's uh, where we're making it the brightest and then once again I can adjust the colors. I could also then uh, use several settings. So we have a mood setting that's just going to slowly go through all the color spectrum so you can see that. And I'm assuming that this is going to allow it to switch faster. Yeah, so I can use the plus or the minus to slow down the changes in color. And you'll notice that it just stays longer in a specific color. I can go into sleep settings and I can set what my sleep settings are. And this is good if you want to use it as a nightlight to put your kids to sleep. I have a timer and here I can actually establish a timer and set when I want the light to turn on and off. All right, and when to repeat the schedule. I'm going to get back out of that. Uh, we have music settings and we also have voice settings. Now once you choose music, what's going to happen is it's going to look for um, the music to play uh, and it's going to basically use the microphone from your phone to pick up the music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another phone to play some music. So now I have some music going on in the background and you can see that the lights are changing as the music is playing. So now let's try the voice command. Blue. And you saw it change to blue. Green. So as you can see, if you want to use voice command, it's easy to change. I find that uh, even though voice command is pretty cool to use, I find it a lot easier just to swipe around because you know I can get different variations in color temperatures um, as I swipe my finger around. But still, um, you're able to use the voice. So I wanted to show you what the lights look like if uh, you're using them like in a living room. This happens to be my living room and it's right above my fireplace and I have two areas where these lights really show off well. I have the lights configured separately so that I can turn them on individually because I just wanted to see what it would look like being able to control the color of each one separately. On one side, uh, on this side right here, I have it red and on this side over here, 
uh, I have it set at blue. And I can control the colors separately because I've um, kind of configured them that way. Uh, I can uh, turn them on and turn them off. So let me turn that on. And then when I turn that on or off, I can control that specific light. So now, for example, I have green and red. So this is pretty uh, festive with this time of year. I can uh, modify the, the brightness. So there it's lower. Um, here I can make it higher so that it's again showcasing uh, the brick wall of my fireplace. So very, very flexible solution and it really is limited to your creativity, what you'd like to see. Uh, once again, you have the different modes that I showed you where you can actually connect this um, and uh, speak the colors or actually use the music background to change the, the beat of what's going on, but you're going to need uh, to have an iPhone or an Android phone in order to do that. Uh, I can turn them all off at the same time. I'm right now using uh, the remote control to do this. It's not going to show up in video because it's pretty dark, but if I power them all off, I can power them all off and then I can power them both on at the same time and you'll notice that it remembers the settings. So this concludes our review. Oh. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.